Hi, I'm Barry Vaudrin with Cruising Authority at CruiseTalkShow.com. I'm beginning part two of our three-part Hertegruten SAS Experience Series. I think you're really going to enjoy part two here. Right now, as I speak, I'm standing in the magical place called Rhina Lofoten. I have dreamt of coming to this place for many, many years, and now here I am in this magical place called Rhina Lofoten. It's a very um, rural area. It's hard to get here, uh, but we made it. We started off in Kirkenes on the Nordlies with Hertegruten and cruised around the coastal, Norwegian coastal areas and finally ended up in Stamsund, uh, Lofoten, where we rented a car and we drove at night all the way to Rhina Lofoten here. And as you can see behind me, this is probably one of the most beautiful scenic places on planet Earth. And I'm just thrilled beyond words to be standing here right now talking to you. Well, this is Barry with Cruising Authority, and I hope you enjoy part two of our three-part series. What's unique about Herdegruten is that you can custom design your own itinerary, enjoy the full 11-day round-trip voyage. Perhaps you want to take the five-night southbound or the six-night northbound trip, or break it up by enjoying an extended visit in a particular town, then continuing on Herdegruten to complete your journey. We chose the southbound itinerary and then to break up our voyage and stay three nights in Lofoten before continuing on our southbound journey to Bergen. Okay, I'm gonna take you to see our little cabin where we're staying here in Rhina. Let's go check it out. Well, let's go and check out the little roar brewer that we're staying in. Come with me. I want to show you this little quaint cabin. You're not going to believe this beautiful little cabin. And what is the most spectacular about this little cabin is the view. I mean, you just can't beat it. It's raining now, but the view is spectacular. Let's go check it out. We're staying in John, number 19. Oh boy, this place is so cozy. Let me show you the living room area. You're gonna love this. Okay, well this is the main living room area. It's uh, made out of wood. There's a lot of wood in here, wood floors. Uh, wood ceiling. This was the old boat houses that the fishermen used to live in. Uh, and this house has been here for probably a hundred years or more. Let's look out the window. I want to show you the view. Come over here. It's this view from our row brewer that is hard to beat. I love hearing seagulls and the ocean water gently splashing around the rocks below, and there's almost a spiritual echo where God is saying, look what I have made for you.
We're having breakfast in our boathouse in Rhina Lofoten. Ooh, it looks like these eggs are about ready. Let me see if I can flip one of these over. Uh, broke. I broke the egg yolk. Sorry about that, dear. That's okay. But the half browns and sausage are looking good. Ready for breakfast? Yes, I am. <laughs> Me too. Well, this is Barry with Cruising Authority at CruiseTalkShow.com, and we're finally here in Raina Roderbear. I, I can't pronounce it. I'm Almost sorry. Right. <laughs> Almost right, Barry. <laughs> now, I wanted to ask you, now, what are your names, first of all? My name is Hans. Daniela. And uh, you two run this facility here. We do, yes. Yep. How, how long have you been running this place? Not so very long, a couple of months. Oh, okay. Now, I have a, I have a question. What's the story on the, the grass on the roof? Well, it's, uh, it's a very cheap and uh, uh, handy way to uh, make a watertight roof. It's uh, tr traditional for uh, this part of Norway. Well, what kind of maintenance is there? I mean, you have to get up there and mow it? <laughs> no, but I've seen sheep on, on roofs. Or, uh <laughs> well, let's go into your wonderful little restaurant, and uh, I want to see that place because I've heard so much about it. Well, this is a cozy little place that you have. What now? How? I have a very tough time being an American trying to pronounce the name of this place. How do you pronounce the name of your facility here? Uh, this restaurant is called Gamobia, and it means uh, uh, something like the old house. But but these little uh, boat houses. It's the Reina Robuer. So the the whole place is called Reina Robuer. Exactly. Now that's that's what I can't pronounce. So. <laughs> now, uh, what does that mean? Well, the, the houses in the old days, to rule means to row, and in these houses used to live the the fishermen who would row the fishermen's vessel. So it's the house for the rowers. It's oh. from the times the fishing boats were not big enough to sleep on, so everybody who came here in the winter to fish for cod needed a place to stay. So there's very many of these fishermen's cottages built in Lofoten. Now, how, uh, when was this place here founded? I mean, when did this place it first... Was in the end of the 18th century. I'm not sure of the exact uh, year, but it was something like 1785. But these are the same houses that have been around that long? Or? Basically, but they've been partly rebuilt and renovated to uh, fit modern standards, yes. Now, uh, tell us a little bit about your restaurant here. Uh, you, Boy, this is, it looks like such a rustic place and we haven't tried the food yet, but... Well, it's, it's a beautiful rustic place because it's basically still the same as it used to be in the old days and we basically still serve the same food because we still serve a lot of fish which we get from the fishery which is next door which is of course the same food people have been eating here in thousands of years and that's cod, that's monkfish, that's uh, say coalfish um, and of course the lamb and the reindeer and so this place has truly a long heritage. Yeah, a very, very long heritage. Now, how many people live in Reina? In the village itself, about 300. So it is a very, not only a quaint, cozy little restaurant you have here in facility, but a quaint, cozy little town. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it is. So I suppose everybody knows everybody. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, what I thought was really interesting is the weather changes here. It seems minute by minute. Yes, it <laughs> Have does. Have you noticed that living here? <laughs> yeah, well, we don't go out without a coat. So. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever get tired of the amazing scenery here no, in this place? It never gets place? dull. It uh, it's just makes you happy every day you look out of the window when you wake up. Uh, it's so beautiful. Uh, it is. I mean, it's one of the, I think, one of the biggest gifts you can get in life to be allowed to live in a place as beautiful as this. Well, I tell you, it was truly a gift 
for us to come here and stay in this place. Mm. This place is, I mean, I, we looked out our window in the morning and it took my breath away. It does, doesn't it? It was just amazing. I was so, uh, I just felt so good inside to bring my wife here. You know, this coming here has been like a dream for me. And to be able to share this with my wife and bring my wife into my dream, oh, it's just <laughs> spectacular. <laughs> and that's also a little bit how I feel when people come and stay here. It's like you can share that with people. That's maybe one of the good things also about tourism is that we've started to share the beauty and uh, the special feeling of a place with other people. Because in the old days, of course, it was only the locals who would enjoy this. But nowadays you can, can share it with, with many other people in the world. You've opened it up to everybody. Yeah. Now, when is the high season for tourism here? It's July, you can say, from halfway um, June to halfway August. That's very busy. Well, I want to encourage our viewers and listeners to make a trip to Rhina because mm -hmm. this place is so special. They, they can go on Hurtigruten and they can customize their itinerary to stop in Stamson and get down here and stay three, four, five days a week. I, I wish we could stay here for a couple of weeks, honestly. But thank you so much, Hans and Daniela, for uh, hosting us here. It's been a wonderful stay. Thank you. Hi, this is Barry. The next time you're planning to go on a vacation, whether it be a cruise or you're just traveling abroad, I want to recommend that you get travel insurance. And when you do that, make sure you contact your travel agent and have them look into Access America. They're going to have, I think, the best pricing and a number of different packages for you to choose from. So the next time you're planning a cruise or you're traveling abroad, make sure to get travel insurance through Access America. Well, we've come to the end of part two of our three-part series featuring Herder Gruten and SAS. This has been quite an adventure. And one of the unique elements of Herder Gruten is that you can plan your own itinerary, which is what we did. We planned specifically to come here to Rhina Lofoten. And I've said so much about how beautiful it is here. And you, I guarantee you will be just amazed at the scenery and the beauty of this place. But uh, when you come through Hurtigruten to Lofoten, make sure you rent a car from these people here um, on the, that, you, the, that you see on the screen. And here's their phone number on the side of the car <laughs> that we rented. Make sure that you contact them, they'll treat you well, and make sure you mention Cruising Authority when you rent from them. I'm sure they would appreciate that. And take the time to drive down here to Rhina Lofoten and stay for a week or two weeks here in Rhina Robur, which has these wonderful, cozy cabins like the one that we're in now. Uh, this particular episode, episode two, has been sponsored by TS Travel. Now, if you're planning to come to Norway and you want to uh, take your own Hurtigruten adventure, make sure that you contact TS Travel. Their web address is www.tstravel.us. And their uh, 800 number is one 800 203-0438. Well, this has been Barry with Cruising Authority. Now, we have part three coming up next, so make sure that you watch part three. Thanks for watching. We're having a wonderful candlelight dinner here in our Roar Brewer. <laughs> in Roar our, Brewer. In Roar our, Brewer. Okay, and we're still in Rhina mm -hmm. Lofoten. Mm -hmm. And this is our last evening, so mm -hmm. we are having a candlelit spaghetti dinner. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Very good.